Hi, I'm Diane. I know a lot of you are now working from home and teleconferencing, doing video conferencing, whether it's through Zoom or Skype or you're using your FaceTime on your phone. This should not be a scary time for you. Use this opportunity to connect one-on-one -on -one with your employees as well as having group conferencing and connecting with your clients. This is a perfect opportunity to help grow your business as well as expand your business. So here's a couple of tips to help you get on track with your employees as well as pass on to some of your clients to keep them at ease to let them know that your business is still up and running. So here's tip number one. Create a workspace at home, something that's functional. You can add a whiteboard, make sure you have your pens and paper available, make sure your laptop has its um, adapter and you have that available as well so that you can plug in and charge. Um, keep whatever snacks that you need um, around to keep you from moving in and out of your workspace. Make sure your workspace is quiet. Have a quiet space in your apartment or your home. If you can't um, have a quiet space and try to do it at an optimum time of the day when you know that your children and other people um, may not be around and causing a distraction for you. If you're in a home and you're able to take your pets outside, um, that's a perfect opportunity to let them have some outdoor time so that you can have some indoor time and work on your business and talk to your clients. In addition to that, in your quiet space, you might want to have your aromatherapy going. Whatever helps you to keep a creative um, workspace going in your mind and in your space. So along with the aromatherapy, you may have your candles burning. You may have light music in the background. So while your workspace is going to look a little different from that in the office, it should be just as functional and allow you to do everything necessary to move throughout the day so that you can be productive. And working from home is one of those things that everyone sometimes has to adjust to. So don't think that when you're at work in your traditional work office space that you will be as productive as you are at home. Adjusting is the first thing that you'll have to do. So learn how to adjust. Take frequent breaks if necessary. But one thing you don't do is don't try to do housework or washing uh, the dishes or cooking or multitasking outside of your work time. Schedule things. Make sure you have a schedule so that you can get everything accomplished that you need to get accomplished. The second thing that's important when you're working from home is appearance. Appearance is everything. So show up with your first impression to be your best impression. Because remember, when you're talking to clients, this may be the first time that you're interacting, and what you don't want to do is come out of the professional mode. You want to keep it as professional as possible when you're talking to your clients, as well as to your other employees. So feel free to dress up and put a shirt, uh, shirt and tie on, um, or a nice dress. Women, you can do your makeup, or you cannot do your makeup, but be presentable. Don't look like you just rolled out the bed, okay? Because that's... Um, that's important. So dress appropriately for your make uh, for your meetings. Make sure your your makeup is tastefully done, um, as as well as your hair is nicely groomed. And if you feel as though you need to put a hat on because you're, you're having a bad hair day, it's okay because you're working from home. But still, be presentable in everything else that you do. Um, I know a lot of people who work from home who usually only dress from the waist up, but I would remind you, <laughs> don't get up if you don't have any um, pants on because that's something that um, is an image that many of us will never want to see and probably never be able to get out of our minds. So make your appearance um, important, um, first, uh, most importantly, because Again, this is a professional setting that you are having, whether you're dealing with your employees or you're dealing with new clients or um, dealing with your current clients. So remember, first impressions can only be made one time. So tip number three, uh, make sure that you have a very neutral background. So as you can see, I'm sitting in my den and I'm using my blinds as a background. Um, because I don't particularly want people in my private space, which is my home. So this is a very neutral background. And what's good about this is people are not distracted by what's going on in the background behind me. Um, I just have a simple blanket that's laying over the top of the sofa. Nothing special. It's always been here. But um, that's important. So this way, um, you don't have to worry about people peeking into your life. 
um, into your household. You can have a simple background if you have to use a closet door as your background or the front door as your background. If you have a nice setting where you could put a, a, a plant behind you or a picture, uh, that's fine as well. I would deter you from using family pictures because again, you don't want people um, looking into your life. If that's not how you are at your workplace, then I would assume that you would do the same at home. So that's just a little tip. Don't worry about having this extraordinary background. A lot of video tubers um, that are out there pay to have their background set up. So this is not the op this is not the time for you to spend any extra money on trying to impress people that are looking into uh, your lives. Just simple background and that's all. So this way people are not distracted by what's going on behind you, but they're listening to what's coming out of your mouth. Okay. And finally, tip number four, schedule time. Make sure you schedule time throughout the day to have your appropriate teleconferencing meetings, whether it's with your employees, whether it's with your boss, whether it's with your clients. Make sure you allocate enough time so that you can have quiet time to teleconference with them. Make sure that you're sharing information, that you have opportunities to take notes and to listen because that's most important. Because now that you're having this direct inter interaction with people, you wanna make sure that you're using the time wisely and you're not wasting time. So trust me, this is gonna be an opportunity for people to do better and to excel in their businesses and excel in their positions. Because you will have that, what would they say, that quality time that's necessary so that you can get your job done and perform your best. So. Embrace our new normal. It may not last a long time, but it's definitely going to be a part of our future moving forward. So have a great day. If you have any questions or comments, you can definitely put it in the bottom. Feel free to like and share. Talk to you soon. Thank you.